Hi, Mark. I'm going to give you a quick rundown of the way ColorThink can be used to look at your ink measurements. You sent us a few uh, sheets and we measured them on an ISIS, like what we would propose for you. And we've got something that's labeled Compat and uh, 4K count. And then you had another sheet that's OEM and count of 2K. We have measured them using the ISIS in the UV excluded mode and the UV included mode. And that's what we're looking at here. To show you how this works, we'll bring in one measurement into ColorThink and it opens automatically into the worksheet. That's the UV included version and we can also bring in the UV excluded version. And take a look at the data here. We can turn on the delta E which shows us the difference between the two sheets. And you can order these columns any way you wish, uh, just like you would a, an Excel column. The brights, the whites are uh, kind of blue in the UV included, neutral looking in the UV excluded. And there's a delta E of five or so. So there's definitely a difference between the UV included and the excluded versions. So we're going to use the UV excluded as being more accurate. Bring that into the worksheet again, and now I'll bring in the OEM version, and let's turn on Delta E and compare those two. The maximum Delta E here is 10 between these two. You can open up an image to see what the image looks like between these two sheets. This on the far right is a heat map showing you the differences. Um, it looks like you've got some blacks that are quite a bit different between the two sheets maybe a little bit in the magenta too, the dark magentas. So let's graph one of these lists and open it up into the 3D grapher, which is probably what you are particularly interested in. We can make it a little bit more visible by turning off tone using L star. You can look at it from all different angles. You can even bring it into 2D mode to see it as a true spider graph from directly above. Take a look at the hooks in some of the inks as they get out to the outer edges. You can also zoom in to any degree you want and pan and angle things to see exactly what you need to see. Looks like the uh, K only ramp is very close to neutral while the CMY ramp has uh, quite a bit of variation to it. We can compare the worksheet to the grapher by highlighting anything in the worksheet. It'll show up as crosshairs in the uh, 3D grapher. And you can scroll up and down the worksheet through the different points and find exactly which point in the grapher you're looking at. You can also highlight a whole section. If you want to see all the ones that are furthest out, you can immediately see those in the grapher as well. This gets a little confusing, so uh, it might turn off these highlighted ones. Now we're looking at both of these sheets in the grapher at the same time, and that can get confusing too. So let's set one of them to one color and change the point shape, and we'll set the other color to green to increase the size a bit and compare the two. Now if the OEM version is in red, it looks like the red inks in general, the hue is has a slight counterclockwise tendency compared to the compact ink. We can also graph the difference in between these two data sets. And this will bring up another element in the 3D grapher that draws lines or vectors in between the two groups of colors. If we just look at the 3D grapher as it is, you'll be seeing uh, lines which represent the colors in that particular part of the color space. But you can also turn on delta E color, which changes these vectors to represent the difference between them. For example, uh, green will be anything between delta E of 2 and down to 0. Yellow would represent 2 to 4, just like we have this. Uh, these are all adjustable, like you see up here on the upper left. And uh, the orange would be uh, 
four to eight. Looking down here, you've got one that's red. So that's, that'll be something that's a difference of at least eight delta E. So you can tell at a glance how far these, these are apart. It's also useful to compare these to maybe a printing standard or specification that you want to be printing to. I'll bring up a profile of Grackle. All different ways you can view your, your data. You can change this, change the opacity of the skin. You can change it into a wireframe so you can see right through it. See how your ink compares to Grackle. It's usually looks like it's pretty close right up to the, the limits of the Grackle space. For fun, you can bring in a, a large uh, RGB inkjet print profile, see how that compares against a large inkjet gamut. ColorThink it has many other features besides these two. You can, you've got a profile inspector that allows you to look at the guts of any profile. Um, we've also got a profile manager that lets you take, keep track of where your profiles are on your computer. There's a profile medic that'll fix profiles. Uh, the Color Smarts Guide is an automator that allows you to perform many functions automatically, not just having to do with profiles, but uh, how to calibrate or evaluate devices, evaluate workflows. There's so many tests here that are useful to people working with color. There you have it. Hope I've given you something to work on. That's a lot you can do with your ink colors to identify where they're going and how they compare to others.